Hello and welcome to Selenium WebDriver tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about uh, the weights in Selenium and why are the weights uh, important in any Selenium script or automation that you are doing with Selenium. So weight commands in Selenium, uh, what they do is they direct the test script to pause for a certain time before uh, actually throwing the element not visible exception. and uh, why it is important, you would have noticed in many websites that when you are doing automation, um, when the page loads, there are certain web elements on the page that takes uh, a bit longer time to actually load on the page, right? And if you do not put weight or you do not wait for the visibility of that particular web element or uh, until that web element is completely, you know, loaded on the page, then you will get an exception that page that web element not found or element not visible these sort of exceptions will occur and that's where weights are really really important and to understand where to put what sort of weight uh, will help you to uh, rectify all these synchronization issues that you will uh, find in the selenium automation so really important to figure out the synchronization issues and fix those synchronization issues in Selenium automation. So there are three key types of uh, weights in Selenium. So implicit weight, explicit weight, and fluent weight. And we'll first understand what these weights are, what is the difference between implicit, explicit, and fluent weight. And then in next uh, couple of tutorials, I'll walk you through how you can implement implicit weight, explicit weight, and fluent weight. Now implementation of these weights is very straightforward. There are methods available in Selenium and you can use those to implement. But in order to understand where to use which sort of weight, you need to understand what these weights stand for and where to use them. So let's go and understand the difference between the implicit weight versus explicit weight. Now both of these implicit and explicit weights are the dynamic weights. Okay, so when we say dynamic weight, what it means is it's basically uh, these weights will wait for a certain amount of time that you specify before they throw an exception. All right. And it's true with both implicit and explicit weight. So what the, is the difference? So it, uh, the difference is basically implicit weight, you know, tells the web driver uh, maximum wait time um, when it is searching for web elements and explicit weight uh, tells to halt the execution until a particular condition is met okay or the maximum time has passed now there is a very you know uh, there is a difference between implicit and explicit weight the difference is basically implicit weight is global so once you set the implicit weight it is applicable to all the web elements in your script so if you set an, an implicit weight of 10 seconds so it will be applicable for all the web element in the script when the script is running and trying to find out those web elements. So the timeout that you specify in implicit weight is applicable for all the web elements. However, in the explicit weight, it is only applicable to the web element which are uh, specified by the user. So for example, there is a particular, um, you know, uh, text box or uh, a button, submit button that takes a bit longer to load on a particular page, then you can use explicit weight specific for that particular button or text box and specify the amount of time it needs to wait for that particular button or text box or any other web element on the page. Uh, then the third point is because, uh, you know, implicit weight applies to all the web elements, you do not specify, you know, expected conditions on the element to be located. Now, you just need to specify implicit weight once in your script and it will be applicable for all your web elements. So you do not need to do this for specific web elements. However, in the explicit weight, you need to provide the expected condition for the specified web elements. So if you are trying to set up an explicit weight for text box or for radio button or any other submit button, then you have to specify the explicit weight for that particular web element. So that's the uh, bit of, you know, difference uh, between the implicit weight and explicit weight. Now going back to the fluent weight. So there is one more uh, type of weight, fluent weight. And what this does is it uh, directs the web driver to 
uh, wait for maximum time when searching for web elements before throwing an exception so all these three are uh, you know same so they are all dynamic weight and uh, the only difference is between implicit weight is is for applicable for all the web elements explicit weight is applicable for uh, a specific ele web element that you specify the uh, the weight for and fluent weight the difference is basically it looks for the web element uh, repeatedly at a regular interval so in fluent weight you can specify the regular intervals uh, within which it uh, the web driver will you know like poll or check for the visibility or availability of the web element on page and if it is not able to find uh, you know uh, the web element within the timeout that you specify in the fluent weight so in fluent weight you have option to specify the polling time or the regular interval time and the timeout the actual timeout so for example if you have specified you know five seconds polling time and 30 seconds has the timeout so every five seconds uh, the web driver will keep looking for that particular web element on the page and if it is able to find out the web element um, then it will move for, uh, ahead otherwise it will keep trying after every five uh, seconds interval it, keep, it will keep polling until it finds the web element or the timeout expires so in this case we have set timeout to 30 seconds so it will keep polling you know six times and after 30 seconds it will time out so that's what uh, the fluent weight is and with the fluent weight it is possible to set a default polling period um, as we have discussed and then you can configure the weight to ignore any exceptions during the polling period now when you have set up the polling period if there are any exceptions within that polling period you can specify to ignore those exceptions until you know that timeout has expired or you know within that polling period so that's um, about the fluent weight so to reiterate um, weights uh, are very very important concept to rectify uh, the synchronization issues in selenium web driver and there are three types of weight implicit explicit and fluent and we'll understand the commands that you can use to set up implicit explicit and fluent weight in further tutorials and all of these weights are dynamic weights so these are some of the key points that you need to remember now in the next tutorial we'll understand how you can implement these weights and rectify the synchronization issues so that's all about weights in selenium hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching